how do you, you know, how, how would you know if some company was bad or good or, you know, a scam or whatever? What, what's your thoughts? Well, I'll tell you this. I've been, you know, in the profession now for, for 20 years, four different companies, two were shut down. And uh, one of the indicators is if a company has a focus on recruitment only, where it's recruiters recruiting recruiters to recruit more recruiters, and the product or the opportunity itself is the product. And I think that's where there's a problem in the profession. And you don't see that as much nowadays because companies like my last company, Vima, you know, six years ago, I was with Vima, they got shut down by the FTC. There's less companies out there like Vima where they're so heavy on the opportunity. And here's the interesting thing, Daniel. I went to Vima because I felt like they had a great product that an end consumer would love, but the emphasis was still on making money. There wasn't enough emphasis on the end consumer buying a quality product at a reasonable price point. So whether it's a product or a service you're selling, you better have a value proposition where that end consumer is going to buy it, not because they're making money selling it, but because they want the service that you offer, the product you're offering. So really, there's a lot of companies out there that have, I think, since then made a big shift or a pivot, if you will, to focus more on customer acquisition. Because it, it really is, by the way, that really is the foundation to any decent company in network marketing and outside of network marketing your business better have legit customers. Well, th this is the reason why we have this, you know, big disconnect be between, you know, so many people not wanting to be a part of, you know, quote unquote MLM or direct yep. marketing or whatever, because again, you know, they all had a cousin that tried this one thing one time, you know, and then he tried it and he went through his whole warm market. And the next thing you know, he was out of business, you know, and, and that's why I think people are so, uh, you know, disconnected. They're, they're, they're so uh, reluctant to try new things and to go for new things. And so, so how do you overcome that with, you know, that person that feels that way? What are some of the things you might say to somebody that's reluctant to give something, something a shot because of the, the their past cousin had this yeah. experience? You know, I, I do my best to relate to people because I think, you know, my story is relatable. I think my background is relatable. And I, I just listen to people, you know, when they talk about some of their experiences and I'm like, yeah, I, I hear that. Here was my experience constantly doing three-way calls, constantly doing PBRs, never being home with my family. It was all about recruiters, recruiting recruiters to recruit recruiters. We didn't have a lot of customer acquisition. We didn't have a lot of satisfied customers. We didn't have real retention, real residuals. You know, most of the people that I enrolled failed. Most of the people I enrolled weren't making money. And even some of my top, you know, leaders, uh, you know, I always say, I always say leaders is like a, a loosely used word network marketing. It's like, he's a, he's a team leader and he's got like three people on his team. He has no idea what he's doing. It's not really a leader, but you know, they got the little pin on their lapel. But uh, you know, the fact of the matter is a lot of my, my leaders started off strong, made a bunch of money and then it all fell apart because, and you just said it, they, they ran out of their warm market the downline they had, you know, didn't have a great warm market and, and things, you know, kind of plateaued, declined, and eventually just went kaput. And I just felt like there had to be a better way to build a business. If I could teach people how to leverage social media, how to build a following, how to not need and not necessarily have to rely on a quality warm market. Like what if you could build your entire business without ever talking to a friend, a friend or family member, without ever having to proactively reach out to people because they're reaching out to you. And we started teaching people how to leverage social media so that they could build a following. They could build uh, you know, a credible brand where people want to engage with them. They want to interact with them. And it does take time, which is why I still encourage people to start with the people they're already connected with. But that's not necessarily the only way to build a business in 2021 and beyond. And I know you've done a great job with this, right? That's how you and I connected. You were creating content, building a personal brand and realize the power in social media and building up that social equity so that people come to you and you're not just reliant on having to find people to talk to about your product or opportunity. Yeah. My, my, uh, I mean, my last two locations that we opened up that I, you know, helped to, to mentor, uh, directly, 
uh, came from social media. So I there mean, I, I just I can't imagine. I mean, I, I did one of the first social media trainings uh, with the company back I don't know five years, seven years ago. And it's interesting because the guy that I met through the through social media, and he was just an old friend from high school, but I didn't know his phone number. I didn't know who he right. was, and so I just was just sending the you know some DMs and hey, how's it going? How's the family? How are you? Just trying to connect with people. Next thing you know, I end up recruiting the guy. His uncle, he quit, but his uncle stayed with me and he just became a VP with the company and opening up his own location. And, and another lady, uh, you know, before them, she just showed up to my office. She's like, I've been watching you on social media. I've been watching all your content. She shows up to one of our orientation meetings. I end up recruiting her. She becomes a VP. So, I mean, th these are, this is literally like what you're saying is so, so important that people get it. And, and why do people struggle, John, so much with this concept of building it through social media? Well, you know, it's, it, it's funny because I just did a leadership training in, in one of our groups. And I said, you know, there might be 30,000 people in a, in a network marketing group and less than 1% of them are even posting in the group. Because I think number one, well, of course, people are not making it a priority. They don't understand the value in consistently creating content. Obviously, you know about that. I know about that. We're all about that life. But, you know, the truth is, I think people are afraid of rejection. They're afraid of embarrassment. They don't want to start small. They're too embarrassed to start small. They're worried about the judgment of their friends and family. Like, you know, I, I can't tell how many times I've heard like, you know, well, I, I do videos in my team group. I'll do videos in my team page, you know, but they won't do videos or they won't post on their page, on their public page, their newsfeed, right? Their profile, because they're worried like, you know, their father-in-law is going to see it or their, their, you know, negative brother is going to see it. And they're so worried about these, you know, few people. It's, it's typically not them worried about hundreds of people. They're worried about like five to 10 people and what they think. And I'm like, dude, delete them then. Like, if they're going to be nasty or negative, or they're going to pick on you and they're going to, you know, bust your balls because you're starting a business and you're wanting to, to, you know, be the best version of yourself and increase your, your wealth and build something significant. And you're wanting to leverage social media to build a business because you understand there's freaking children out there that are making slime and they're making money on YouTube. Or how about this? I mean, you and I grew up in the same, same era, right? Like kids are now making money playing freaking video games. They're playing a video game. While 6,000 other kids are watching them through live streaming play that video game and they're making money. So the fact that children are making money playing video games and making slime, what's your excuse? You're afraid of what your Uncle Tom thinks? You know, you're worried about, you know, your, your cousin Susie or your coworker Kim and what they're going to say when they see you post videos and put yourself out there? Screw those people. Delete oh, them or... It. And sometimes people are like, well, I don't want to just delete my cousins and delete my friends and family. You don't have to delete them necessarily, but confront them if they're negative. Confront them if they start messing with your business, messing with what you're trying to do. Because here's the truth. And Daniel, I'm sure you're in the same boat. At this point, when I post on social media, the people loving, commenting, and engaging with me, they're not people I grew up with. They're not people I used to work with. It's people that I'm now connected with or have connected with over the last six, seven, 10 years on social media. I'm not worried about all those people like I used to be. I used to have those same doubts and fears and worry about what are people going to think about me doing videos and creating content. The people I was worried about back then, they, I'm not even connected with those people anymore. My, my best friend, John, uh, I mean, he just was so rude to me when I first started in business and I, we did everything together. He lived down the street from me. We did everything together. We were, you know, just, it was a great relationship. I ended up starting in business. I, I, I did pretty okay right off the gate. And I, I, there was a big event that they were having and I was going to get all these trophies and awards and all this stuff. So I said, Hey, come check it out. I know you're not interested in the business. I don't care. Just be my, you know, be a supporter, be a friend of mine and come and check it out. And he sat in the back row and he was griping and complaining the whole time. And, you know, five minutes later, he, he got up and he just left completely just left the meeting. And, you know, and, and I really did. I, I got a bunch of awards that night and, and uh, it was like a fast start award or something like that. And 
and I, the next day I called him up and I said, are you okay? Like, are you sick or what's wrong? You know, and then he just slammed me with, it's a pyramid. It doesn't work. And you know, you're never going to make it, you know, you you need to stay in school and all this stuff. Oh, and, and it's, it, and it's interesting because, you know, looking back, I, I am so thankful for that guy. Yeah. Uh, his name's Adam. Uh, and you know, People ever, you know, if they know who I am, they'll, they'll probably, if they knew me a long time ago, they'd know who he is. But I thank God for that dude, because if not for him being such an asshole, really, I don't know if I would have gotten as far. Because like when that happened, it made me even want to win even more because right. I said, you know what, dude? You know, I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm not being a, a obnoxious guy trying to recruit you. And if you don't join my business, we're going to not be friends. I never did any of that stuff. I was like, just right. be my friend, man. Support me. Say some nice things about me. Who knows? Maybe you'll refer somebody to me in the future. But man, I drew the line in the sand, John. And I said, dude, if you ain't going to support me or at least be nice to me, then we can't be friends. And the truth right. is, man greatest thing that ever happened to me. Thank you for watching our short clips on Alonzo Academy. If you'd like to watch the next short clip, click here. If you'd like to watch the entire podcast, click here.